All right, what's up, people? So you want to make a thousand dollars a day doing construction? Well, I'm gonna kind of go over what I do because you can easily do that in this field. That's why I love um, construction uh, in this type of job, you know, blue collar job, because you can go make your money, man. You know, whether it's painting, um, whether it's concrete construction, framing, building, electrician, electrician, plumbing. There's a lot of money to be made in trades and you want to go get it, go get it. it. You know, it's there to go get. So how do you do it? How do you make a thousand dollars a day? First of all, you got to find out where you want to be, right? Where do you want to be? Do you want to be in a concrete field like me? Do you want to frame? Do you want to be an electrician? You, that's on you. You got to find out where you want to be. Uh, me personally, I can only tell you where I'm at and what I'm doing. I do concrete construction. Okay. So how does a guy like me make a thousand dollars a day um, doing construction? So it's all about your timing. It's all about your system and what you got in place to help you kind of create time and money, right? So creating time, creating money. So the first part for me is I'll go out and I'll bid a job. Okay, normally if I take on five calls, I can land about three of them that I bid. Um, I try to bid pretty competitive, nothing you know over crazy or nothing too under. Um, so say I got a job and I bid it at, I don't know, a thousand square feet, right? And then I bid it at $6 a square foot. Okay, how much time am I gonna spend on this job? That's what I kinda kinda figure in. Uh, the first day for me is demo. And a lot of times I'm really not there. I've got a demo team that comes in. So they're getting a little bit of the profits, you know? They're getting a little bit of the profits in the beginning, but it saves me time, right? Like I'm not spending the day on the equipment, um, running the equipment. That's like a free day for me. I can run estimates. I can set up other jobs. I can pour. I can do whatever. So I'll get them in and they'll spend the day tearing everything out for me, you know, excavating the job and, you know, getting everything prepped out as far as that goes for me to set forms, okay? Then it becomes for me, you know? The only thing I'll do in that stage is I'll, paint everything out you know I'll paint it out I'll get it prepped out for them you know measure off what I want maybe add a little bit extra on the side so I can put my forms in um, to where they can just where I can just come in and just whop, slap my forms in now that's key in the prep department because that's gonna save you time in the 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 back end there so as long as they know what they're doing and they do a good job it'll really help you when you come to set forms so for me then it comes to setting forms Okay, uh, I go through, I'll probably spend on a job like that, that's a thousand square feet, I'll probably spend maybe an hour and a half, two hours setting forms, okay? Not too bad for a day, right? So then I can spend the rest of my day doing other estimates or doing other jobs or pouring or, you know, whatever it entails. Maybe I'm chilling with my kids, you know? Maybe I got a little time for myself. Um, so that's about roughly what it takes, you know? So I'll go through, I'll set my forms, I'll prep everything out, put my form boards in place, um, and then get it prepped for that aspect. The only issue it runs into, if it's a job where I need an inspection in, that might hold me off a day or two. Might have to spend a little bit more time because I gotta put certain things that they require in wire, or I gotta double check and make sure the, the inspection went through, or if they have an issue, you could run into a lot of little uh, legalities on that aspect. Then I gotta pour. So on a typical pour day, once I get it prepped out, my pump guy shows up, he comes in, we start working, it'll take me about an hour to get the mud down. So I might show up maybe half an hour early, depending on what I got to do. If I got to add a couple, if I got to prep a little bit more, do a couple things. Then he comes in, get that bad boy poured out. And then from there on out, I'm spending the next probably four hours finishing. Right? So I'm spending the next four hours finishing, edging, trawling, bull floating, brooming the job, 
and then normally the last part of it. So when I'm dealing with the last part of any job, it's the cleanup time, you know? So that's what you do in the beginning is gonna save you in the back end. So if you leave a bunch of concrete on the job, if you got roots that are scattered out, if you got your tools scattered out, if you've got crap all over the place, it's gonna be a lot harder on you in the, in the cleanup time. And normally a job will take about an hour, two hours max cleaning up. Cleaning up my forms, throwing them in the truck, cutting the lines, snapping the lines, um, and then hosing everything off nice and clean, and then getting much paycheck. Um, I normally take a deposit on every job, so that's important to know when you're starting out is make sure you get a deposit. Don't be scared to ask for what you want. Don't be scared to ask for your money. I, I know in the beginning, some people might be timid to ask, you know, you're doing this work, you're, you're working hard, you're out there grinding it, you're doing a service for somebody, get your money, you know, and don't be scared to ask for it. So just to kind of go over, you know, you're talking about an hour to two hours of forming, right? Uh, then you're talking five hours of prep, uh, of pouring, and then you talk about an hour breakdown. So that's about an eight hour day. Now, granted, it's scattered out. You know, I don't do it all in one day, but easily you can make a thousand dollars a day. And off a thousand dollar square foot or a thousand square foot job, that's six grand roughly, maybe a little more. Um, you know, I'm making half of that profit and payout. And I'm kind of a one man band. You know, a lot of guys have a lot of overhead and other people. So I'm kind of a one man band other than my subcontractors, which are gonna be like a pump guy or my tear out guy. And I'm actually looking to bring somebody else in to do, you know, my form work. And then maybe I just come in on the pours is kind of something that I'm kind of working towards. So easily doable, easily doable, $1,000 a day if you're a contractor. Now, I don't know what other contractors make in different fields. I'm just telling you as a concrete contractor, that's what I can make, that's what I make. Not every job's like that, of course. You know, some jobs are a little bit smaller and you can make a little more. You know, you could actually come in, set it up, you can work less and make $1,000 a day on a smaller job sometimes because then you got minimums to stick to, you know? You're dealing with uh, minimums, you're digging it out by hand. Maybe you can't get machinery in there, you don't want to destroy their lawn. These are things you got to think about. These are things you got to, you know, keep in your brain and keep in your, in your head when you're figuring out the best way best way for you to execute this just put the pieces in place remember it's all about building a system for yourself what system works for you my system may not work for you right you may have machinery and tear it out and then maybe you pay somebody else to come in and pour it I know guys that do that right they just bid the job they excavate it and then they pay somebody else you know a certain amount of the profit don't be scared to share profits don't be scared to share share the wealth on certain aspects, of course, you gotta get paid, you gotta make your money, but don't be scared to bring other subcontractors in and things like that. You gotta find a system that works for you. So I've found this over years and years and years of perfecting and, and seeing what works and seeing what other people do and seeing what I wanna do and what, what does my life entail, you know? What do I wanna do, you know? I got my kids, I wanna spend time with my kids, you know? Maybe I wanna go out and have a nice dinner. Um, just simple things, you know? Appreciate the simple things, that's why I love blue collar jobs like this and contracting is there's a lot of freedom within it you know a lot of times you can you, you can fly solo i like to fly solo i don't like to uh have to tell everybody what to do constantly so when i bring a subcontractor and i try to bring in subcontractors that know more than me or at least as much and they already have their game like they know what they're doing i don't have to dictate to them every little aspect you know you don't you don't want that you don't want to have to dictate to somebody the whole day that's tiring to me it's tiring it's draining all my energy you know i'm already working physically already sweating already out there that's good for the body too like i love that's one thing i love about it is you're out here sweating you know a lot of people what <laughs> yeah man get out there and sweat don't be scared to get your hands dirty you know the america was built on the backbone of of hard working people now instead of being the one not making the money go out there and make the money like figure out how you can be that hardworking person and get the cash, you know? Make your money, support your family, you know? Make it maybe where, where your wife could stay home and you can work and you can support the family on one income. 
you know that's not always doable nowadays when two people are working and then the kids don't have uh don't have uh you know they're both their parents you know or at least one of their parents and then the other parents coming coming home at a certain time and they don't see them that much you know find out a system that works for you maybe you're single like maybe you're you're a single guy and you know you're just looking to bank this is the way to do it you know especially in your 20s i wish i would have known that you know when i was younger you know i'm 37 now so i mean this stuff didn't start hitting me till i was a lot older you know pretty recently actually 35 and stuff um i could have had a jump on things you know investing in real estate and things like that so but that's just a little bit about me that's a little bit about how you can make a thousand dollars a day as a contractor specifically a concrete contractor look into other jobs look into other professions see what works for you make sure you guys like and subscribe comment down below got any questions ask me i'll go ahead and uh respond to that just giving you a little piece of my mind